Mr. Brown, on behalf of the state of Iowa, you may give your rebuttal. Yes. The defendant says that he left her with her clothes on. That is clearly not true. The defendant says, before we get to that, he also says in his interview that she is hot or attractive. The way that it was interpreted by uh, Romero was that the uh, Molly Tibbetts, that he said that she was hot. That's why he was encountering her, because he found her attractive. That's why he chased her down. That's why he stopped on the road, right? He saw a pretty girl, and it drew his attention. Molly is found with no shorts or underwear. Her jogging bra, like I said, is pushed up around her neck, and her legs are spread apart. That would all suggest a sexual motive here. Guess who does not have a sexual motive? Dalton Jack or anyone else that's been raised here by the defense. The defendant wanted to encounter Molly Tibbetts by his own admission because he said that she was hot or attractive. And we have physical evidence at the scene that would suggest that there is also a sexual motive here that corroborates the defendant's involvement. It also excludes the two phantom men story. There's, by the defendant's own admission, there was no sexual motive there. There was no evidence of that.